doing another knife review. Now this knife, you know, full disclosure is not mine, but one of the benefits of doing a bunch of knife reviews on the internet is people let you borrow their knives, and that's what this is. It's a, it's a Becker knife and tool. So this one's actually not made anymore. This is the earlier edition. They do make the Becker knives again, but through a different company. So this has got a little bit of historic value, and it's why it's so nice and it's in the box. We're not really not going to use it as a tool. It's going to be more of a collector's thing. But here's the brochure from it. And while on the brochure, they don't show the color, this one is the Combat Utility 7. So it's basically their bigger combat slash utility knife. It says it uses a carbon tool steel blade that's tough enough for any field task. And I'm going to leave it up to other guys to go out and break their knives and stuff. Um, you know, that, that's interesting and stuff, but I'm not trying to abuse my knives. I'm just interested in if they work or not. This one was made by Camillus. So, uh, like I say, the newer ones are made by different company now. So it came in a sort of, what would you call this, a, a tarp type of material, a canvas. It's not nylon, I don't think, and it's not cloth. Maybe it is cloth. It feels like a very, very heavy denim or a heavy cloth, like the material Dickie's pants are made out of, or even thicker than that. Maybe the side of a thick tent. So anyway, it's some sort of heavy canvas material that definitely seems as though it would hold up well. I notice there's only a row of single stitching here, but I don't think this stitch does much. There's a couple of grommets here, which are a little bit less substantial than I'd like to see. They don't go all the way through very well. And I doubt that this knife was ever really used, so I think that's how they came. So, a little weak there. Up here, it's sewn. There's a couple of straps for, um, I suppose, for pals or Molly. But um, since there's nothing else, that would be an awfully floppy way to go. But anyhow, you got a couple of vertical uh, pocket or slots, and then you've got this uh, major, you know, three inch, probably thick. Uh, slot for a thick belt. You could probably get a duty belt through there, but I don't I guess you could probably get a military belt through there It's also got a couple of grommets here and again Well, actually these go through very well and these are the way you like to see a grommet on the other side You know where they come out and meet the material and and hold themselves in place Of course, this is another example of one that isn't done that well, so I'm gonna say you know not consistent on their materials here or at least their craftsmanship We've got a pocket up front. Since there's nothing on the back, I imagine I'd probably keep a stone in here. This is interesting. It's a piece of elastic so that this pocket can get pretty large. You could put something substantial in here. Definitely the largest Swiss Army knife. Heck, you could probably put a small cell phone or a, actually a medium-sized cell phone or a small GPS in there. But the elastic keeps it nice and tight. It's got a substantial Velcro uh, panel of the, the soft stuff here and then the you know, depending on how much stuff you got in that pouch, it's going to work. It's a little noisy being Velcro, but what are you going to do? You've got a snap here, and it seems decent, although I'm not going to go as far as to say that it's quality. Uh, for example, this is just folded over and, and snapped, and it's not sewn or anything, so I suspect this sheath can probably fall apart long before the knife would. The knife is substantial, but there's one more thing on the uh, sheath I figured I'd show. And that is that it, it does use a folded piece of Kydex or fiberboard or something in here um, that the, the blade actually interacts with. And then this sheath is really just holding that. So while the sheath may not be a 10 out of 10 stars as far as my rating, as far as how it's made, um, it's definitely not going to allow that blade to, to break in, into your, you know, and get into your leg or, you know, into your equipment or anything. Definitely seems like a, a sturdy sheath. So for anything it lacks in maybe quality of manufacture, it makes up for in being safe and secure. To go to the knife then, it's a fairly substantial knife. Um, I got big hands and it's filling my hand. You can see that my fingers aren't even touching my palm there. It's, hold, it's definitely a, a big knife. Um, for a utility knife, though, you kind of want something like that. On the end here, you've got a flat, and you can definitely tell it's a full tang. In other words, the metal from the blade is the entire knife, and these side uh, handles are just literally put onto the metal, so it's one big, thick, probably talking quarter-inch piece of metal here. Actually, it's a little less than a quarter-inch. 
So still a substantial piece of steel. Uh, it's coated in this tan, in this sort of a tan, I guess, color. And uh, although the knife hasn't been used, uh, just from the reviews I've read and other knives I know that are from Becker, uh, this material is going to hold up really well. Uh, the handles are made of some kind of plastic. I'm not the best knife reviewer. I don't research these things. I'm just talking about my observations on it. So uh, it's lightweight, very, very um, lightweight, but bulky and in a cool pattern. It definitely makes sort of a camo pattern. I suspect it's just the material, though, uh, the different colors of pellets they put in when they molded this piece of, these pieces of plastic. They use substantial Allen screws and bolts to hold it together and there's a very substantial hole in the handle for putting on a lanyard or perhaps tying it into a spear. Um, nice thing about having the handles that remove with an allen screw like that you know depending on how you're going to use this knife if it was really a survival situation I think you could very easily uh, take the handles off and make this into a very adequate spear. Um, good blade shape. Uh, it's not so narrow that it's going to break anytime soon. Again, I'll leave it to the other guys to, to really abuse these things. I'm sure that uh, you know someone's put these to the test, but I'm really happy with it. It just you know it's it's on the big side and it's on the bulky side and it's on the I'm going to go ahead and say it's on the crude side only because it's not super fancy. But I think this is I suspect this is a very nice blade, very nice knife for a camping slash survival type of situation. As far as a combat knife, probably not the first thing I'd go for. I'm no knife fighter, but this is just a little bit big. It's lightweight, but I'd like it to be a little more tacky in my hand. I guess that's one other observation I'll offer. Uh, it's very slippery. This material, while it's very lightweight and it seems like it's very sturdy, it's very slippery. Uh, I'd like to see at least some texture on it. If not, I might even wrap it with rubber or 550 cord if I was actually going to use it. 550 cord would probably be too bulky, but I'm thinking like one of those hoe grips that you slip over a pistol grip. If there was a way to put that over this, I think that would make it a lot more useful for a utility type of knife, you know, chopping wood or making a fire or something. So anyway, that's the Becker uh, utility knife, 7 inch. Oh, I guess I'll do the statistics on it real quick. We're looking at just about a seven and a half inch blade, and overall, it's just about just under just a hair under 13 inches overall. And I'll throw the scale on here since it's convenient. And for the knife alone, we're looking at 13.8 ounces, which doesn't surprise me, although it's a substantial size. The thickness and the very light handle material make it a very light make it a very light knife to hold on to. Putting it in the sheath and knocking the camera over, we're at one pound three point nine ounces. So not a very heavy knife, and the material of the sheath doesn't add any real bulk or weight to the design. So this is a pretty decent system. I suspect I would rather carry something like this on a backpack or in a backpack than maybe on my belt. I don't think I would need it immediately ever, but if I was going to be anywhere for any kind of extended stay and I needed some help chopping wood or um, you know, even digging a hole or something, just you know, utility type of stuff around camp, I think this would definitely shine in that kind of circumstance. Um, this one's pretty pricey. We haven't actually got a good estimate on it. I'm not a knife collector, so I'm only going off a few websites I found. But um, I'm definitely thinking it's close to the $100 range, if not more, just because that it's it's from the first from Camillus, uh, as opposed to the new company that's building them. But if you do a search for Becker knives, you'll find I just I, I forget off the top of my head who is making the new ones, but they are working with a company, a, a well-known company, to produce some new uh, knives and uh, highly recommend them. If they're anything near these, I've got to assume they're going to be good knives for you. So, Becker Knife and Tool.